Apple's first logo, hand-drawn by Ronald Wayne Apple Inc. Uses a large variety of typefaces in its marketing, operating systems, and industrial design with each product cycle. These change throughout the years with Apple's change of style in their products. This is evident in the design and marketing of the company. For at least 18 years, Apple's corporate typeface was a custom variant of the ITC Garamond typeface called Apple Garamond. It was used alongside the Apple logo for product names on computers, in many ads and printed materials, and on the company's website. Starting in 2001, Apple gradually shifted towards using Myriad in its marketing. Starting with iPhone 7 in 2016, Apple switched the typeface of the word Mark iPhone to San Francisco on products and its website. Prior to adopting the Bitten Apple as its logo, Apple used a complex logo featuring Isaac Newton sitting below an apple tree. The words Apple Computer CO were drawn on a ribbon banner ornamenting the picture frame. The frame itself held a quotation from Wordsworth, Newton, a mind forever voyaging through strange seas of thought, alone, taken from Wordsworth's autobiographical poem The Prelude. The logo was hand-drawn and thus did not use an established font. However, that type is similar to Caslin. The Apple logo alongside the Mater Tectura typeface before the introduction of the first Macintosh, alongside the Apple logo, Apple used a typeface called Mater Tectura, which was designed in Austria by Othmar Mater of Vorarlberger Graphic in 1975 and distributed by Letterset. At the time, the typeface was considered new and modern. One modification to the typeface was the removal of the dot over the I. The S was also modified for the label on the Disk 25. 25-inch floppy disk drive. According to the logo designer, Rob Janoff, the typeface was selected for its playful qualities and techno look, which were in line with Apple's mission statement of making high technology accessible to anyone. Janoff designed the logo in 1977 while working with Palo Alto marketer Regis McKenna. The Apple logo's bite mark was originally designed to fit snugly with the Mater Tectura A. In the early 1980s, the logo was simplified by removing Computer NC. From the logo, Mater Tectura was also used for the Apple II logo. This typeface has sometimes been mislabeled Cupertino, a similar bitmap font probably created to mimic Mater Tectura. Apple Garamond was used in most of Apple's marketing. Since the introduction of the Macintosh in 1984, Apple adopted a new corporate font called Apple Garamond. It was a variation of the classic Garamond typeface, both narrower and having a taller X height. Specifically, ITC Garamond was condensed to 80% of its normal width. Bitstream condensed the font, subtly adjusted the stroke widths, and performed the hinting required to create the font, which was delivered to Apple as the PostScript font of Garam. In cases where the Apple logo was accompanied by text, it was always said in Apple Garamond. Aside from the company name, most of Apple's advertising and marketing slogans, such as Think Different, use the font as well. The typeface was virtually synonymous with Apple for almost two decades and formed a large part of the company's brand recognition. It was used not only in conjunction with the logo, but also in manuals and ads and to label products with model names. Apple has not released the true Apple Garamond font. ITC briefly sold ITC Garamond Narrow, Apple Garamond without the custom hinting, as part of its Apple font pack in the 1990s. A version of the font was also included under a different name in some versions of Mac OS X prior to 10. 3 as it was used by the Setup Assistant installation program. In the marketing of the Newton slash Notepad slash Message Pad PDA, Apple used Gil Sands instead of the regular Apple Garamond. Gil Sands regular was used in the logo for the model name on the computer, on the keyboard and in advertisement materials, though it was not used as a screen font. Adobe's Myriad was used in Apple's marketing 2003 to 2017. In 2003, Apple gradually started using a variant of the Adobe Myriad font family in its marketing and packaging. As new revisions of its products were released, the text changed from the serif Apple Garamond to the sans serif Myriad Apple. The family's bolds were used for headlines and other weights accordingly. The Myriad font family was designed by Robert Slimbach and Carol Twombly for Adobe. Adobe's most recent version of Myriad is Myriad Pro, which has some additional enhancements and character set extensions, but is not significantly changed in design. Myriad Apple, a modification produced by Galapagos Design Group, incorporates minor spacing and weight differences from the standard varieties, and includes Apple-specific characters, such as the company logo. In 2006, Myriad Apple was superseded by Myriad Set, which contains extra ligatures and other minor changes. 
As of November 2013, lighter fonts are prevalent in Apple's marketing, with headlines in Myriad Pro Lite. Occasionally an even lighter variant of Myriad is used for specialized marketing materials and press releases. Starting with the release of the Apple Watch, Apple has begun usage of San Francisco as the typeface of word marks such as iPhone, AirPods, and MacBook Pro on the devices themselves. This change is also reflected on some headlines on product marketing webpages. Apple modified the majority of its website's text to use the San Francisco font on January 24, 2017, and San Francisco became the universal official font for Apple. Apple has used a variety of system fonts for the user interface of its products. Apple's earliest computers, along with other personal computers of the period, had extremely limited graphical capabilities and could originally display only uppercase ASCII using a set bitmap font. The ICANN enhanced Apple E expanded on this, supporting 40 or 80 columns of text and an extended character set called mouse text. It was used to simulate simple graphical user interfaces, similar to the use of ANSI X3. 64. The first Apple computer with a purely bitmap display, the Lisa, shipped in 1983. It used a system font with distinctive V and W letter forms. Chicago Charcoal the Macintosh, introduced in 1984, used a bitmap font, Chicago, designed by Susan Kerr. In Mac OS 8, introduced in 1997, the system font of Mac OS was changed to Charcoal. Charcoal was designed to be easier to read than Chicago, while retaining similar metrics for backward compatibility with existing application software. When released in 2001, Apple's iPod Music Player reused the Macintosh font Chicago as the system font. Later versions of the iPod drew from the larger character repertoire of the TrueType Chicago, adding a number of characters not present in the bitmap Chicago, such as Greek and Cyrillic. Even though the screen supported grayscale, the characters were not anti-aliased. For smaller user interface elements, such as the names of files displayed with icons in the Finder, Apple used the Geneva typeface, a redesigned version of Helvetica. Introduced in 1986, the Apple Eags had very tall pixels, thus requiring a stout, 8-point bitmap font called Shaston 8 as the system font. Shaston was described in Apple Eags TechNote number 41 as a modified Helvetica, but the similarities are not striking. The fonts of the original Macintosh were also available for the Gs. In 1991, Apple's human interface group contracted with letter-perfect fonts Garrett Boge and Damon Clark to design a family of bitmap screen fonts to replace Chicago and Geneva for the Mac OS version 7. 5. The family consisted of sans and serif, regular and bold in discrete bitmap sizes of 8, 9, 10, 12 and 14 pints. The sans, proving most useful for screen readability, was also used for the Newton OS GUI. The Newton used the font Apple Casual to display text entered using the Rosetta handwriting recognition engine in the Newton. The same font found its way into the Rosetta-derived writing recognition system in Mac OS X, Inkwell. The TrueType font can be made available to any application by copying the font file, which is embedded in a system component, to any font folder. The Newton logo featured the Gil Sans typeface, which was also used for the Newton keyboard. SB Sans was later used as the font for Apple's eWorld online service in 1994. The iPod Mini, released in 2004, also used SB Sans. Since its introduction in 2000 up through OS X Mavericks, Lucida Grand was the system font used in Mac OS X user interface elements, such as menus, dialog boxes, and other widgets. It was superseded by Helvetica Noia. Starting in 2004, the iPod Photo, 5th generation iPod, and 1ST through 2nd generation iPod Nano feature a bitmap font known as Podium Sans, displacing the use of Chicago as the iPod system font. Although originally promoted as Myriad, Podium Sans is missing Myriad's trademark features, such as the splayed M and distinctive Y. Since the introduction of the first-generation iPhone in 2007, Apple has used Helvetica in its software design. iOS for the iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, and Apple TV employs the font, alongside its use on iPods beginning with the sixth-generation iPod Classic and third-generation iPod Nano. In conjunction with the iPhone 4 in 2010, Apple began using Helvetica Noia on devices with Retina display, while keeping use of Helvetica on non-Retina devices. Around 2012, Apple started using Helvetica in Mac OS application software. iTunes, iMovie, iPhoto, GarageBand, and Apple's professional applications started to feature heavy use of Helvetica, 
while the majority of the OS X environment retain the comparatively more legible Lucida Grand typeface, which was designed specifically for on-screen use. After the introduction of iOS 7 in June 2013, Apple began using an extra thin weight of Helvetica Noia for the user interface of iOS 7, arousing numerous complaints about the less legible typography. For the final release of the operating system, Apple changed the system's font to a slightly thicker weight of Helvetica Noia, although some have complained that readability is still compromised compared to the font weight used in former versions of iOS. Older iOS devices continue to use Helvetica or Helvetica Noia in regular font weights that display with higher contrast on low resolution displays. With the introduction of OS X 10. 10 Yosemite in June 2014, Apple started using Helvetica Noia as the system font on the Mac. This brought all of Apple's user interfaces in line, using Helvetica Noia throughout. San Francisco is currently used for user interface across all of Apple's product line, including Watch OS, Mac OS, iOS, iPodos and TV OS. The three main variants are SF Pro for Mac OS, iOS and iPodos, SF Compact for Watch OS, and SF Mono for the terminal, console and Xcode applications. It was first introduced alongside the Apple Watch, where it was used for enhanced legibility and taller X heights for easy reading on a small display. The design references a number of different other typefaces, notably FF Din, Helvetica, Helvetica Noia, Roboto, and Universe. It was widely speculated that San Francisco was going to be the long-awaited font that Apple had reportedly been developing for independent use in their products. And the font's name was leaked in November 2014 when the WatchKit SDK was released to developers. On June 8, 2015, at the WWDC 2015 conference, San Francisco replaced Helvetica Noia as the system font for both macOS and iOS operating systems. The version used, known as SFUI, was modified to make it wider than its Apple Watch counterpart, more akin to the previously used Helvetica Noia. The original version has since been renamed SF Compact. In 2019, Apple released New York, a serif counterpart to San Francisco. Universe on a pre-2003 PowerBook G4 Universe was first used as the keyboard font of the Apple X. Apple's keyboards were long labeled with Universe 47, a design choice by Apple's industrial design partner, Frog Design. This began in 1984 with the Apple X, which had tilted front panel buttons to match the inclination of the lettering. Universe was eventually replaced on Apple's keyboards by Vag Rounded, which was used on all iBook models, PowerBooks introduced after 2003, and MacBooks, MacBooks Pro, MacBooks Air, and Apple keyboards from August 2007 until early 2015. The font was developed by Sedley Place Limited. For German car manufacturer Volkswagen and was used in much of their marketing materials. On March 9, 2015, Apple introduced a new generation of MacBook that utilizes the Apple Design San Francisco typeface. Thanks for watching.